G'day guys, so this is in relation to my uh, put up about the tools and stuff I take. After watching my video, I thought, fuck, I do take some shit. So I got all those canvas bags made and the idea was to put them on the trailer and I thought, fucking why? Why not ditch some stuff out of the car, uh, revamp a few things. So I'm still, my idea behind my plastic tub is still gonna stay for the trailer with, with spares and sprays. I think that's an iffy idea. But then I had two sets of tools, so all those canvas rolls and stuff I got made, I had tools in the car and I had tools in there. I thought, geez, I do take some shit. Especially with the blow mold cases and stuff I had stacked under here. So I've decided to put all the tool rolls in the ute. They're all numbered, so I know what's in them. I got rid of all the blow mold tool cases, so everything that was in that floor, which was handy, I had in there. Oh, jeez. Double the weight, I double everything, so no point. So I've got, and same with all my rattle guns that I had down here, two rattle guns, I had two of everything. And I took all that with us on holidays, and I thought, geez, I'm an idiot. It's just so much junk. So now, I've, all the tool rolls, there's two in there at the moment. The third one fits on top because it's got the big long breaker bar. Uh, same with, I got another plastic container, so in here I put all my electrical fittings and fuses and things like that, which is quite handy. Then this one here, it's a bit heavier, it sits on the top. And then I'm getting another one made with this stuff. This is what I ended up cleaning out. All these tools here. Plus, plus, two blow mold containers, one at the top here and one at the bottom, that had all that shit that's in those things. So I probably saved myself, uh, we'll call it, probably saved myself 60, 70 kilos in tools. So, disregard my other video. Well, you might get something out of it. I don't know. But, yeah, I just had so much shit. Like all my sprays and things like that, I had four of everything and didn't really need it. So, ditch deep of sprays. Now I've got a, my rear, my bottom drawer here is, that's where we put our clothes. Um, up the top in here, we normally put, fits two cartons of beer quite nicely. And then anything else we put up here, like take a board game. Um, all our Cryvac stuff goes up there. Just, just things. So I revamped everything. After watching my own video, I learned something for myself. Um, so yeah, now it's even easier. Two minutes. The tool rolls aren't as convenient as having the drawer, but you know, what's five minutes? Yeah. And you don't have to search through everything, you can just go, you know, to whoever you're with, your missus, your wife, your whatever. You can just go get me tool roll number three, thanks. And she'll go and get it and unroll it for you and, you, and you're done. So I think from my own video, I've made it simpler. So that's what it's all about. This, is, this comes down to weight and weight saving. So after the trip, I was never overweight, but I was always legal. Uh, but I was heavy. I was definitely pushing the limits of um, being overweight. Probably had 100 kilos to spare, but it took so much shit that we probably didn't need. Like hammers. For some reason, I took two hammers. I don't know why. Uh, recovery gear, drag chain, um, snatch block, no, shackles, five shackles. So, what I've decided to do is really revamp my recovery gear and and go with a lot of soft shackles. Um, I've already got a hammer in my tool kit. Uh, drag chain, haven't used in six years. Oh yeah, we dragged a log once. But it's not worth taking for, the, for what you use it for. You can't tow a car, snap. Uh, yeah, so I've really uh, lightened the load as such. You know, all this is probably 30 kilos. Same with my fridges. 
I'm changing my whole setup. So I had a, I had a freezer here. Um, I had a fridge on the other side and then I had my fridge at the back. So I've decided to get rid of all my drop slides. Because they're heavy. Got rid of one the other day. And I'm gonna get rid of this one and put an upright fridge in because they're half the weight. Uh, and you get more room out of them, I reckon. So I can put a, uh, an 80 litre Bushman fridge in here, fits nicely. And then this fridge here will turn into the freezer. So we're not really missing out on anything. So we dropped probably, what is it, what is it, Ingle fridge weigh? 30 odd kilos, plus the slide weighs 40 kilos, plus the table I made weighs that, plus food. The freezers on the uprights are only like seven liters, so they're not very big at all. Um, but we've got the big one for the, we'll put a, that's only a 30, 32 liter I think, but I've got enough room to put a 40 liter in there, uh, just for a freezer. So, like I said, I was never overweight, but I carried a lot of extra dead weight for nothing, and there's no point. So maybe go through your setup, see what you got, see what you've actually used, and if you, if you don't use it, bin it. I don't see the point in taking something that you don't use. Um, just adds dead weight. I never used to think about it, I just used to think, screw it. Fuel economy I don't care about. But, but I'd rather, you know, have more fuel carrying capacity instead of carrying dead weight like this. Fuel is a necessity when you go on a remote track. I already carry a lot of fuel, but I'd rather carry, taken out, you know, with this and probably all my tools, you know. I, I've near on taken out, and the fridge slides and fridges and all that kind of shit, I've probably taken out 200 kilos, which is essentially 200 litres of fuel. I'd rather carry 200 litres of fuel than 200, litres, uh, 200 kilos of dead weight that I don't use. I'll replace all this with sh soft shackles and and things like that. Um, but yeah, my recovery gear still stands. I've still got the straps and the winch extension, and I think even at the front there, there's a, another winch extension strap. But like I said, yeah, I'll just check your shit, check what you got. You don't need it, bin it. That's what I think now. Uh, there's no point in carrying extra weight if you don't have to car rides a bit rougher because I'm set up for really heavy. It's not really. So yeah, definitely, definitely uh, think about your setup. I'd, yeah, it's, um, even if I don't take more fuel, I've saved myself essentially 200 kilos, which is quite a bit. Um, so I've got enough fuel to do, I can get a thousand Ks I could get a thousand k's towing on 250 litres. You know, even if I got the same, I'm pretty happy with that. But I should get a bit more, a bit lighter. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely look at your setup and see what you got, and revamp things and make things lighter. So I learned something today. So no worries, take it easy.